Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to another episode of Earl Sports Bets. And today, we've got another MLB slate for you guys. It's only nine games. We're going to be going over eight of them. So, uh, should be a rather light, light day for baseball. Uh, nice, relaxing nine-game slate after numerous 15-game slates. Uh, it's always nice on Mondays to have this, like, little... Lol. But before we get into the video, before we get into the recap of what happened yesterday, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out with a video here at Earl Sports Bets. You can also follow us on our social medias at Bets Earl on Twitter at Earl Sports Bets on Instagram. We also have a Discord chat if you guys want to join that. The link to that is in the description of the video down below as well as our merch if you guys want to help support the channel that way. Uh, you can check it out in the link in the description of the video down below. And let's uh, take a look at our recap from yesterday. Uh, my day could have been a lot better. Uh, There's a couple of bad beats in there. And then a, a, just a, a simple bad loss. Uh, Toronto, under, bad loss. That was just a bad play. Or that was just a yeah, bad bet. I had two bad beats that turned into a 1-0-1-1 uh, record that could have been could have made my day a 4-0. Uh, the LA Angels and the Boston Red Sox. It was 5-4, bottom of the ninth. Shohei Otani hits a two-run go-ahead home run. Puts the, the game over the total. Loses my bet. Two outs, top of the ninth. Frustrating. That was a bad beat. Toronto... Or uh, Houston and Texas over seven and a half. That one cashes, but I actually bet the the total at eight. I gave the video play at seven and a half. So congratulations, guys! You guys got the win. I got the push, but I got the win on the video pick. Six to two, the final score there. New York Mets and Tampa Bay Rays first five under four. Uh, two run shot in the bottom of the fifth pushes it to four. And then I got lucky on the last one. Okay. Uh, with the bad luck on the Angels game, uh, turned into good luck on the Rockies game. With uh, two outs, the bases were loaded uh, for the Reds. And a wild pitch drives in the game tying run to push the game over 11.5. So I went 2 2 and 1 on video picks yesterday. Uh, I'm 1 in, 105 and 101 this season, hitting around 51%. Uh, I lost around a quarter of a unit yesterday, so I'm at 19.39 units gains so far this season. Do you want to talk about your day? Uh, not really. Um, it was ugly in all sports. Uh, NBA was not pretty for me. Uh, MLB was not pretty for me. Uh, overall, yesterday was just a day I want to put behind me. Uh, yeah, I had Detroit. Figured they were playing pretty hot i was gonna be able to do well on that one they don't go down five nothing early i'm like well that one's a loser and then i was like i was thinking oh well they're down five nothing in like the second inning maybe they can hit the over no uh, that didn't happen either i was thinking "Ooh, atlanta they have you know they've been playing better they might have a shot no okay i was watching that one i, wa I saw freddie freeman hit that grand slam uh it was it was close but no no cigar mets i saw them go up one nothing i'm like I might be able to win a baseball game today. And then they proceed to do that. And out of everybody, the team that won for me was Oakland. They were down 4-1. to one, And then somehow pulled off a miracle. Scored five, uh, 4 in the 5th, 1 in the 7th. Uh, took the lead there. Almost gave it back. And then won in the ninth. It's it, That one was an absolute miracle that I was able to cash that one. I got lucky that I went one and four, one and four today, but we also did hit our premium play, so that was kind of nice as well. But um, overall, baseball and me betting wise over the last like two or three days have just been, and I'll be completely honest with you guys because we keep it straight. But it has not been. I've I've had losing days the last three days, so or this whole entire weekend. So um, I'm happy there's no NBA today. I have two baseball plays. And we have our premium, and this one's, today's pretty much like a mental day for me. So, um, ugly day yesterday, ugly weekend. Hopefully we can turn around this week and do better. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, and we, we do like to keep it transparent here. We're not going to be like, oh, yeah, we went undefeated every single day. No, that's why we have our records on the bottom there for the picks we give out during the videos. Now, yes, we do have plays that even like an hour or two after the video, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to add this onto my card. But 
what what we give out on videos is exactly what you see here during the recaps. We do not take away plays because we lost. We don't add plays because we won. We just keep it so whatever we gave out, we are completely transparent and honest about it. Uh, and that's that's the whole idea behind this channel. So you guys can trust that uh, the based on how we're doing, back us or fade us. So uh, we're going to head now into the the card for today. We've got nine games. We're going to be going over eight of them. Starting it off at 640, San Francisco Giants, Cincinnati Reds, minus 132 for the Reds, plus 122 for the Giants, Sonny Gray, and Logan Webb. Over under eight runs for this game. And uh, Logan Webb, two and three, 4.74 ERA, 1.45 whip, 43 strikeouts, 16 walks. Sonny Gray, uh, 0 and 2, 3.55 ERA, 1.46 whip, 36 strikeouts, 12 walks. Um, and for me, looking at this game, this is a spot where I, I like Cincinnati in this game. I think we're getting a little bit of value on them. Uh, but this is a spot where I would only take them first five innings. Let's see what that line is. First five minus a half at plus 100. I don't hate that. Uh, I, I, but I don't. Uh, the reason I do that is I don't trust this Reds bullpen. I have them ranked 26th in the MLB. Giants are 21st in the MLB for bullpen. So these both these bullpens are not great. Uh, but I would lean towards the Reds here. Uh, on the first five minus a half line at plus 100, but I'm not getting involved in this game. Where are you looking here? Uh, this is actually going to be one of my two video plays for today. I got the San Francisco Giants in this one. Uh, I know they just came off of a series loss against Pittsburgh, but um, besides the good series for the Reds against Colorado, they have not really been playing particularly good. Um, and the Giants have been. So I, I do like the Giants in this game. They're giving it a giving it to us at plus money. Uh, Webb, I feel like, can turn it around. Sony Gray has not been pitching that well this year. I think that this is a spot that the, we can get San Francisco plus money and we can cash it. I'll take San Francisco on this one. All right. Our next team here is the Atlanta Braves hosting the New York Mets. Max Freed versus Tejon Walker. Minus, oh, sorry. Minus 150 for the Met, or for the Braves, plus 139 for the Mets. Over under eight runs for this game. Uh, where are you looking for this one? Uh, this will be play number two out of two. Uh, I like the Mets today. Um, we're getting plus money for Tejon Walker, which has been pitching fantastic this year. Um, I think he's the best, uh, second best pitcher on the Mets staff behind Jacob Degrom, um, and he's just been pitching really, really good. So, um, I, and Max Freed has not really been all that good. So, uh, I do like Tayshaun Walker. I think the Mets have a pitching advantage in this one. I do think the Mets, um, batting needs to wake up a little bit, but I think they could do it against Max Freed. They've done it in the past. They normally can hit pretty well off of them. So, uh, I do like the New York Mets in this game at plus money. Yeah, I, I'm on the same page here. Uh, I do like the New York Mets in this spot. I'm trying to find what the Mets lineup is going to look like for today. Uh, it's, it's not out yet. It's, yeah. I'm always trying to go on Rotowire to have a projected lineup. Um, yeah, I don't know. But uh, this is just a spot where I don't know. I, I, I like the Mets today, plus 139. I bet it. Um, but we got to keep in mind Conforto went out. What McNeil went out. Conforto's going to be back in the line. Conforto's going to be back? Okay. We, um, keep an eye on who's playing for the Mets today. There's probably a reason why they're plus 139 here. Uh, Tayshawn Walker is 3 and 1, 2.20 ERA, 1.202 whip, 39 strikeouts, 18 walks. Uh, Max Freed is 1 and 1, a 6.55 ERA, 1.73 whip, 24 strikeouts, and 9 walks. If. If someone told you uh, Max Fruit has been disappointing this year, that's an understatement. He's been downright awful. Uh, and this is a spot where New York Mets plus 139 is a spot I jumped on. And I don't hate the plus 145 for first five doubling up on this. Uh, but I'm just going to go with the money line here. New York Mets plus 139 versus the Atlanta Braves. Our next team here is the Chicago Cubs. And the Washington Nationals, minus 149 for the Cubs, plus 138 for the Nationals. Uh, over under of eight runs for this game, John Lester versus Adbert Alzole. And uh, looking at these pictures, uh, John Lester's 0-1 this year, 2.25 ERA, 1.38 whip, 10 strikeouts, 7 walks. 
Adbert Alzale, 1-3, 4.50 ERA, .88 whip, 39 strikeouts, 7 walks. He's been pretty decent this year. Uh, this is a spot where I would I would probably lean towards the Nationals, but I'm not getting involved in this game. Uh, I'm going to be probably passing on, on this game at the end of the day. So uh, it's a lean towards the Nationals. Uh, maybe Nationals first five rather than full game, but no action for me here. Yeah, I I almost almost pulled the trigger on the Nationals today, um, and then I decided it, I feel like it's not the right spot. Um, yes, they're plus money. John Lester can always have a really good game, and I guess you could say it's a revenge game because he used to play for the Cubs. But um, I don't I don't really I think the whole revenge game stuff is garbage. Besides for our player props, but um. Yeah, no, this one, I, I'm going to stay away from it. Uh, if anything, a lean towards the Washington Nationals, but ultimately, I'm not really too interested in it. All right. Our next game, we'll go from one Chicago to the next. Uh, we have the Chicago White Sox and the Minnesota Twins. J.A. Hat versus Dallas Keuchel, minus 106, minus 104. Pick them. Nine and a half is the total for this game. What are you looking I'm trying to figure out why this is a pick em. I didn't really see... I like. I would go after the White Sox. Um, I don't personally. I haven't bet them, but I'm thinking I might. They're minus 104 against the Minnesota Twins, who have been really, really bad this year. I don't know. This just seems like a trap spot. Uh, but if anything, I'd be interested in going after the White Sox. I do not have a bet on them, but Dallas Keuchel uh, has been pitching about the same as uh, Hap. But uh, the White Sox have been playing better than the Twins, so uh, I, I'm going to pass on this one for right now, but um, maybe i look into it later and I'll throw a tweet out if I take it. Yeah, for me, probably the only play I'll look at for this game would be a Minnesota first five. Uh, this is not a spot I want to get to, though. I don't trust a left-handed pitchers against the Chicago White Sox, so... That would probably make me want to lean more towards the White Sox, but I'm just going to lay off this game. This game is just giving me mixed symbol- signals for this one, and it's not just not something I want to jump into uh, for today. It is uh, It's probably, yeah, pass. No no action for me here. It's just something I just can't get behind any of these sides or totals for this game. The next game, though, I can definitely get behind some. Uh, I had the New York Yankees. Are at the Texas Rangers minus two sixty five for the Yankees plus two thirty seven for the Rangers over under of eight runs for this game. Garrett Cole takes on Jordan Lyles. Garrett Cole five and one, one point three seven ERA, point six eight WHIP, seventy eight strikeouts, only three walks this season. Yeah. He'll be taking on Jordan Lyles one and three, a six point six three ERA, one point six one WHIP. 36 strikeouts, 15 walks, and this is a game I have multiple plays on. And um, let's just start it off with this with the uh, total. I'm going uh, the over eight runs here. I think the Yankees can get that by themselves. Uh, I think this is a spot where the Yankees are going to absolutely tee off off of uh, this Texas Rangers staff. I also like the team total over. Uh, for the Yankees, if you guys are interested in just worrying about whether or not the Yankees will score, team total over 5.5 is probably something I'm going to bet today. Uh, and I'm actually going to add it on. I'm going to add on team total over 5.5 for the New York Yankees at plus 110. I think they get 7, 8, 9 runs in this game easy versus Jordan Lyles, who has not looked good this season. But probably my favorite bet of them all. It's the first time I'm giving one of these out. New York Yankees, minus 2.5 at minus 110. I think the Yankees dominate this game uh, and easily. I think three runs will be enough to cash this minus 2.5, to be completely honest. Uh, I don't really see uh, how the Rangers are really going to put up too many points here. So for this game, I have three plays. New York Yankees, minus 2.5 runs. I have the over eight runs, and I have the team total over 5.5 for the New York Yankees. Where are you looking for this one? I'll let you have all the plays for this one. I'm passing on this game. Um, I'm just, if anything, this might sound crazy. Maybe a slight lean towards that big dog in Texas, because I don't know. Plus two thirty set. I mean, I did this when uh, Yankees played the Tigers and they end up losing ten nothing. But um, ultimately, this one, I'd rather just trust what he said. I'm not gonna go after this game. 
All right. Our next game here is the Cleveland Indians and the LA Angels. Minus 139 for the Angels, plus 129 for the Indians. Over under of nine runs for this game. And am I missing the memo or something here? Uh, why are the Angels such a big favorite here? We have San Hedgens versus Pablo Sandoval. Hedgens is 1 0, 3.29 ERA, 1.76 whip, 14 strikeouts, 6 walks. Pablo Sandoval is 0 0. 6.14 ERA, 1.50 whip, 8 strikeouts, 5 walks. This Angels team has not looked good this year, and they're a minus 140 favorite against an Indians team that has been playing well. Yes, the Indians are coming off of a sweep versus the uh, Seattle Mariners, but really? I don't I don't see it. Uh, I'm taking the, uh, the Indians here at plus 129. Get nice plus money to fade Pablo Sandoval, which is not a good starting pitcher. Yeah, I like it. Give me the uh, Indians here, plus 129. Versus the LA Angels, where you looking? Uh, I'm I, I'm passing on this game. I I know the Indians probably have some really nice value on them. Uh, LA has not been playing that well, but uh, maybe it's just because Cleveland's coming off of the sweep and uh, they think that they're going to keep struggling. I don't know. Um, I I'm personally, I I might go after this uh, Indians game, but uh, I'm not going to at the moment. I. Uh, I just feel like it's a little bit of a of a uh, trap play type deal where um, people did that and then Angels might end up pulling off something tonight or something of that nature. I don't know. It just seems very fishy to me. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go away from it. All right. Our next game here is the Colorado Rockies and the San Diego Padres. Minus one ninety for the Padres. Plus one seventy five for the Rockies. Uh, over under six and a half runs for this game. You Darvish, John Gray. You looking at anything for here? Oh, you skipped over the Dodger game. Oh, my bad. The Dodgers and the uh, Diamondbacks. That is our premium play over on PicksandParlays.net. If you guys want to check that out, link to that is in the description of the video down below. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm not interested in the uh, Padres game. Um, if anything, maybe a slight look at the Padres run line. They've been playing really, really well lately. Um, they just are coming off of a sweep of the Cardinals. Um, but ultimately, no, I don't think I'm going to go after this game. Uh, I have my two plays that I like for the day, plus our premium. So uh, I don't feel like this any of the rest of the games or anything I'm going to be interested in. I'm going to pass on this one. Uh, I am going to add a play on for this game. I was looking at this a lot. Uh, I, like the, I like the over in this game, 6.5, but... Uh, the only thing I really don't trust is the Rockies to really give me runs here. Uh, and against against you, Darvish. Uh, looking at the pitchers, John, John Gray, 4-3, 2.93 ERA, 1.17 whip, 44 strikeouts, 19 walks. You Darvish, 3-1, 2.08 ERA, 0.92 whip, 59 strikeouts, 13 walks. I'm going to go with the San Diego Padres team total. Over three and a half for this game. I think they get four runs at least between John Gray and that really bad Rockies bullpen. Uh, that that went... Uh, no, they didn't go extra innings yesterday. They went nine innings, but they, they went a lot through their bullpen, giving up seven runs that game. So I think that the Padres are able to get at least four against this uh, Colorado Rockies pitching staff, which is um, 29th in Team ERA and 30th in Team Whip. So, yeah, this is not, not a good uh, – also, they are 29th ranked bullpen. Yeah, this is a pitching staff I'm going to look to probably attack some team totals uh, in the future against. So, give me San Diego Padres over 3.5 uh, team total, uh, minus 120 for this game. All right, heading to our last game of the day. Seattle Mariners host the Detroit Tigers, minus 175 for the Mariners, plus 161 for the Tigers, over under 7.5 runs for this game. Uh, getting Casey Mize versus uh, Yusai Kikuchi um, for this matchup. Uh, Casey Mize is 2-3, uh, and three, a 4.19 ERA, 1.27 whip, 27 strikeouts, 16 walks. Yusai Kikuchi, 1-2, 4.3 ERA, 1.09 whip, 45 strikeouts, 13 walks on the season. And um, for me... I'm not looking at the full game for this one. My final play is actually a first five innings. Uh, and we're going with the Detroit Tigers, first five innings, plus 160. Um, I like this Tigers team. I think there's value on them. Uh, but there's no way I am touching uh, that bullpen for Detroit. So I like Casey Wise. I am going to be backing him 
most of the time throughout the rest of the season. Uh, give me the Detroit Tigers, first five, plus 160. Uh, once again, uh, I'm laying off this game. I have my two plays. I like them. Uh, I, if anything, I'd favor Seattle in this game. Casey Mize has still got some improvement to make. Uh, he is a rookie, so I'm not going to go and trust him right now, especially come, uh, going up against the Seattle Mariners team that is finding their groove again. They're just coming off of a sweep. So I, I do quite like Seattle in this game. Um, hopefully, I think that they can really start to get stuff on track. They have now a three- or four-game series against the uh, Tigers. I think this is a nice spot for them to keep bouncing up. Tigers have been playing well as of late, but... Uh, I do think that Seattle has a decent chance at probably like sweeping this series. Alrighty. All right, we're going to go over a recap our plays for today, and then we're going to head on out for this video. I'm going to start it off here. I have the New York Mets, plus 139. And we're going to go from the one New York team to the other. We have the over in the Yankees game, along with team total over, and the New York Yankees minus 2.5 runs at minus 110. Got a lot invested into that Yankees game tonight. As well as the Indians, plus 129, and the... Team total over for the Padres at three and a half, and also the Detroit Tigers plus one sixty. First five innings versus the Seattle Mariners. I'll keep it simple. I have the Giants plus one twenty two, and I have the Mets plus one thirty nine. Alrighty, let's. I'm going to add in my two plays, and then we're going to. Uh... Yeah, but that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Um, if you guys want to go check out our premium plays, uh, no NBA today. But we do have. We're gonna have a hockey play up. We're gonna have a baseball play up. So go ahead and check that out, and maybe even a w WNBA uh, play up in a little bit. So go ahead and check those out. Uh, link to picksandparlays.net is in the description below, uh, along with the Picks and Parlays YouTube channel. Me and Nick are gonna have our game time decision show um, six o'clock Monday through Friday. So go ahead and check that out as well we'll also have a saturday show Nor normally that's going to be a little bit earlier in the day but uh get ready for it all right but that's going to just about do it for this video i want to thank you guys as always for watching remember to like comment and subscribe and uh turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out the video here at earl sports bets that's going to just about do it let's make some money let's cash some bets in major league baseball tonight and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out guys